power shrug, you know, they come from the ground, starts with their feet and their ankles and goes up through their knee, their hip, and ends up out through their shoulders. You want to keep your feet flat. You don't want to get out over your toes. You don't want your knees getting out over your toes. And you want the bar to stay in line with your ankle and your hip and out through your shoulder. So you want to keep your chest up in a good position, a good athletic stance as you lower the weight. Same thing coming back up. So the weight always stays in line in the axis of your body and your center of gravity. Sometimes if you use a bar, it gets out in front of you a little too far and it's in a vulnerable position picking it up off the ground. This way they can get into a full squat with it, pick it up, and it always stays in line with the axis of their center of gravity. It's not as fast as a power clean, not as explosive. They'll handle more weight with that, but they're still taking you know, a multi-joint movement with resistance. We try to keep it at like four sets of five. You know, it's a medium volume. It's not a lot of high reps, and that's how you can keep your power doing that.